Hello, royal people. Good to see you once again, and this your daily dose of royal news and analysis. But first, before we start with the details, really thank you all for showing so much love and support. And those of you who have not subscribed yet, really, guys. And do not forget to hit the bell icon too. Okay, now we are ready to start the video. The trip to Nigeria made by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was not exactly a royal tour. The two are not working royals anymore, yet alas, the prince has once again become the object of public face after social media widely shared images and footage of him inspecting the troops in Nigeria during a visit with his wife Meghan Markle. This has put the long-abandoned duty at the center of another scandal when it is possible to say that this was how the couple had lived in the palace. It invoked a reaction through different social media platforms mainly X when the forum was formerly called Twitter, condemning the actions. A furious user asserted that Harry doesn't deserve an official post to represent the monarchy since he's not from the royal family. Another commentator shared the same sentiments, stating that this is after the titles that Harry was conferred by his late grandmother were stripped off, and argued that the monarchy should then come in so that such incursion of actions isn't perpetrated again. In the country, Prince Harry was hosted in a military hospital. Here, he interacted with injured service members and outlined how they will continue to support veterans and their families' fraternity. He had one-on-one -on -one chats and outlaid how some of the brave men and women addressed their survival and recovery from nation service tales. The prince showed them sympathy and had a real interest in telling them encouraging same as a gesture of unity and mental health and well-being support to those who have undergone war-inducement traumas. Meghan also held a co-hosted tenet with Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, Director General of the World Trade Organization, on women in leadership. This high-level side event explored the challenges and opportunities of women leaders at all levels. Meghan addressed the assembly and had a brief but very moving talk where she insisted that gender equality should be real since the girls and women should be empowered are all over. This work with Dr. Okonjo Iweala stressed women's ability to shape global economic and social policies, and it has actually inspired many to fight for integrated leadership. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely to carry on with their devoted humanitarian efforts. Their openness about being parents and family life appears to resonate with people. Since people may express themselves using their personal experiences, it strengthens the notion that kids are painful and pleasing to every parent. Meghan's tender shorts about Lilibet and Archie will make anyone remember how inextricable the love and connection between family members is fond and death and regardless of the country or royal title. Meghan's silly shots of her children utterly behavior make viewers take a glimpse beyond the Duke and Duchess's day-to-day -day public activities. She gives everyone else a good and consummate parent idea that genuinely all people in the universe will give such experiences to discover. Apart from advocating for veterans and women's leadership, the Duke and Duchess remained committed to countless other charitable initiatives of mental health, environmentalism, and racial justice. Nonetheless, through their Archwell basis, they didn't only want to raise awareness. Furthermore, the Duke and Duchess continued to provide a platform to the voiceless to achieve change through initiatives that altered the lives of whole regions globally. Another person dismissed the whole asinine notion by speculating that the Nigerian military had failed to realize that Harry was no longer a prince. Inconceivably, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex continued their arranged three-day visit in Nigeria. Furthermore, they were warmly welcomed to Abuja after a long journey from London's Heathrow Airport. Finally, the royal couple arrived at the Wu's Lightway Academy in the Nigerian capital. Together with the Jinko Foundation, they hosted a mental health summit. Meghan again made numerous people happy when, among others, she took to the stage and said that everyone should think about their mental wellness first. When Harry delivered his speech, Meghan spoke about how proud she and everyone else present were. 
Then, she started her speech about the stories of importance and resilience and how it makes sense to use personal stories and drive points from there straight to such valuable moments as she shared together with her daughter, Princess Lilibet. She also talked about how all the little things that make up usual everyday life are important for mental health, drawing out examples from personal experience and feeling the experiences that their audience was feeling at that time. Their tour organized by their PR manager involved also visiting Canberra and Perth to assure people that some causes will still have them even though now they have a changed royal status. They visited a women's shelter in Canberra and talked to the residents, the royal couple encouraged residents, we are committed to working with you on this, no one should feel inferior as long as we have the power to come your way, we shall, we are, again, there is no giving up. They also met with youth leaders in Kaduna and talked about how education and empowerment are essential to building people up. In the end, they ended their trip where it all began, in California. The two now await to reconnect with their children. As Prince Harry starts to involve in his military business, so too does Meghan in philanthropy, however, the two remain to make a difference in the world, royal or not. They work in the areas they need to, including mental health, gender equality, and education, it has proven how the couple's service is not about the title. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. You never know, we might even have to wait also see if things turn out to be something important. And remember, never miss any of my juicy royal updates like this by subscribing below and ringing the bell icon. It's that simple if you enjoyed it. Hasta la vista.